Hi everyone, it's JJ. So, we all know what this is. It's an egg. But do you know what it looks like inside without the shell and without breaking it? Let's find out. Now, just a quick message before we get into the experiment. If you're going to repeat this at home, I really recommend that you do this with a grown-up to supervise. All you need is one egg and some distilled white vinegar. And this is what's going to dissolve the shell of the egg. So an egg has four parts to it. You've got the shell, the white, the yolk, and there's a fourth part, which is what we're going to be looking at closely today. And that's between the shell and the white of the egg. And it's known as the membrane. Now the membrane is an outer rubbery type layer between the shell and the white of the egg. Now this will protect the chick that's growing inside the egg. Now for the purposes of this experiment, there's no chick in this egg. This is just a regular unfertilized chicken egg. But we're gonna conduct this experiment to be able to see the membrane without the shell surrounding it. So how do we do this? Well, first we're gonna take a glass container. Now this glass container just needs to be deep enough to be able to submerge the egg. And then we're gonna take our vinegar and submerge the egg in the vinegar. Now the easiest way to do this is to pop the egg on a spoon and slide it into the jar just like that. Remove the spoon and there we have our egg in a jar. Next all we need to do is add in the distilled white vinegar. Now when this happens it's going to cause a chemical reaction which I'll go more into detail in a moment. But first, let's put the vinegar in and submerge the egg. There we go. Just gonna squirt the vinegar until the egg is completely submerged. And that will do it. Right, so let's take a closer look and see what's happening here. So, when the eggshell comes into contact with the acid in the vinegar, a chemical reaction is created. The acid breaks down the calcium carbonate in the shell and produces a gas called carbon dioxide, which is why you see these little bubbles on the egg almost instantly. In time, the acid will completely dissolve the shell, but it can't break the membrane underneath. So vinegar might seem very acidic to us, but it's actually over 90% water. You might have noticed that your egg will become a tiny bit bigger when it sits in the vinegar. This is because the egg soaks up the water in the vinegar by a process known as osmosis. This is the flow of water from an area of high concentration to one of lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. For example, a skin that might look solid but actually has tiny holes all over it. The water molecules fit through the holes and go into the egg, making it expand. Wow! Now, once you've added your vinegar to the egg and seen it start to fizz, you'll need to leave this for between 24 to 48 hours for the shell to be fully dissolved by the vinegar. Now, lucky for you all at home, you won't have to wait that long because Here's one I made earlier. Let's take a closer look and see what's happened. So, as you can see on the right hand side, we have the egg that we just put in the vinegar and you can see it fizzing away. The egg on the left hand side is one that we've had for over 24 hours in vinegar. Now that brown that you can see on the surface of the vinegar is the remains of the shell that's dissolved away. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this egg out of the jar, wash any remaining shell from it, and take a closer look at what we can see. 
Right, so here comes the fun part. Now I'm going to roll my sleeves up for this so I don't get anything on my hoodie. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a spoon and we're gonna put it into the jar, scoop the egg out, and I've got a big bowl of water here so that we can wash off that remaining shell. So very carefully, take out the egg. It's huge. It's really grown in size because of soaking up that water. So I'm gonna place it into the bowl of water, just like that. And now I can give it a wash off. Now, because it's gone into a big bowl of water, it's quite safe at this point to wash off the remaining shell with your hands. Now, you just wanna be quite gentle because remember the membrane is still quite delicate, but the shell itself should wash off really easily. So after doing that for a few seconds, I've got most of the shell off there. Okay. And there we have it. A rubber egg. It's quite squishy, a bit like a full up water balloon. So let's take a closer look at our rubber egg. So here we have our rubber egg. And as you can see, it bounces. How cool is that? Now, as we can see here, if we shine a light behind the egg, you can see the yolk inside. Wow. Now, what will happen if you bounce this too high is it will break the membrane and the yolk and the white inside will be released. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Now, how great was that, everyone? Now, as you can see, the membrane itself is still intact, and it's kind of like a popped balloon. And there we have it, a regular egg inside. Thanks for watching me today at home, everybody, while we conducted our fizzy egg experiment. I hope you had fun. Do try and repeat this experiment at home if you can. And if you enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe as it really helps us to grow our channel. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you again soon.